Hello, this is Kendra. Welcome to the Kendra's Card Challenge 15 Not Too Shabby Super Sponsor Hop. Today I'll be sharing how to make a card using sketch number 9 from this quarterly challenge number 15. I'll be using the new Christmas in July bundle from Not Too Shabby. This bundle includes the 6x6 paper pad called Rustic Christmas along with a pack of beautiful ephemera and some glitter enamel dots. Now this paper pad is currently out of stock as of the date of this video, but I do know that Jamie has ordered more and it will be available in a few weeks. And I shared a video a few days ago showing how I made sketches 1 through 8 as a guest designer for Not Too Shabby this month. So I'll be showing you those cards in just a moment, but here is a brief look at all of the beautiful patterns in this paper pad. I'll tell you, I had a hard time picking which side of the papers I wanted to use for my cards because they're just so awesome. Now here's a brief look at my cards and while I show you I'll put each sketch up on the screen. If you missed my video I'll link it above and in the description box below. But I created a free digital download containing lots of Christmas sentiments and I printed these with a laser printer and I foiled them with my mink machine and toner foil. So the sentiments on these cards are from that printable. But in order to get the download, all you have to do is join my Patreon membership program as a free member, and I will have this link down below as well. Now, if you're not familiar with my challenge, I offer a free PDF printable that shows you how you can make 15 cards using just six sheets of six by six pattern paper with little to no scraps. Plus, you can have a chance to win lots of prizes by sharing your creations throughout the quarter, including a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. Now this quarterly challenge runs from July 1st to September 30th of 2024 and you can find out how to download the free printable over on my website at kendrascardchallenges.com. I invite you to watch my challenge introduction video that explains all about it and how to enter. I'll also have that linked above and below. As mentioned before, this video today is part of a video hop and there is a giveaway. So all you need to do to enter a digital download from me is complete the form linked in the description box below after watching the video. You can have more chances to win for each video that you watch in the hop. So we hope you'll check out all of the videos to get some wonderful card making inspiration with Challenge 15 using products from Not Too Shabby. There is a playlist link below that will show you all of the videos in the hop. Here I'm just showing all of the components that make up card sketch number 9. There's the larger strip that goes across the bottom plus 5 half inch by three inch pattern paper strips that will be cut into banners, plus the sentiment that was foiled using the reverse or negative image of the sentiments from the printable. I cut out a scallop circle out of some red foil to match that sentiment, and I had initially planned to use a white circle on top, but I wanted the ephemera to stand out more, so I opted to cut out a three inch circle from this light green pattern paper. After making my first eight cards and using this particular pattern in the paper pad, I use that in a lot of them. I'm sad that this is my last sheet, so I'm definitely going to have to order more of this paper when it comes back in stock. Now I had plans to ink blend on this big white circle, but I searched through all of my distress inks and I tried to color match all of the greens and grays or just really any color that's in this ephemera here. And I couldn't find one that I liked, so I just decided to keep it easy and stick with pattern paper. Now for these three inch strips, I'm using my banner punch to cut the tails. If you don't have a banner punch, you can do this by hand with scissors. And I show how to do that in my other video, but you could also use the corner of a square punch. But that middle piece on the card sketch is gray. So that means it's not one of the pattern paper pieces that you cut from the cutting template, but you could always use cardstock or even scrap pieces of pattern paper that you have. And that's what I've done here. I cut so much of that green paper for my other cards that I had some scraps left over to be able to make another green three inch strip. So see the back side of this light green is that dark green pattern with the stars on it. And I love how the pattern is similar to what's on the red pieces, the strips that I have there. So these colored strips are gonna go on the top left corner and I'll be alternating them red, green, red, green. And I'm gonna speed this up a bit as I assemble the rest of this card. In order to make all of the pieces level, I used some scrap cardstock behind some of the pieces. So for this circle piece here, I um, ended up using the white piece of cardstock or the circle that I cut out that I was initially going to use. And I just kind of cut it into like, not really a half circle, but more like a two thirds of that circle. I had to trim it a little bit. 
but that's just to help keep this level and I probably could have used another one on top since there's on that pattern paper strip there's two layers but I think it'll be okay now for these banner pieces I do end up using two layers of scrap now this is a trick that I learned from Lynn with LV handcrafted if you're putting um, if you're paper piecing or putting patterns together side by side like I'm doing here it's best to use tape and then you can just glue it down all at once I don't know why I haven't ever thought of doing that before but here you see me just cutting those um, rectangle strips to go to the left of that scallop circle to keep all of this level I know this is sped up so it may be hard to see but as I'm cutting out these uh, scrap pieces you may be able to tell that I tested out the different shades of distress inks on the end of that piece of white cardstock I do try to use my other supplies sometimes even though most of my videos are about how to make a bunch of quick and easy cards with pattern papers um, speaking of which I do have my pieces cut for cards 10 through 15 using this paper pad so I'll be making and sharing pictures of those cards over on my Instagram and also on TikTok so if you're not following me on those platforms and you have an account there I hope you will I'll have links to all of my socials down below as well now what's funny when I was uh, cutting the ends of this sentiment strip off that first piece when I punched it it went down it went down my cleavage so I was uh it was like poking me the whole time I'm finishing this card but I thought that was pretty funny but here is my finished card using sketch 9 from challenge 15 if you'd like to purchase any of these supplies from Not Too Shabby Shop, I hope you'll use my affiliate link in the description box below. Don't forget to fill out that giveaway form for a chance to win the prize for this hop. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads. For more card making inspiration with products from Not Too Shabby, you can click on the playlist links in the description box below. And that'll pull up the other designers videos that are part of this hop. Thanks again to Jamie with Not Too Shabby for having me on as a guest designer. I've really enjoyed creating with this beautiful Christmas paper and ephemera. I hope you will join us for Challenge 15 for a chance to win some prizes. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you'll join me again for future videos. Have a wonderful day.